What's up, people? Back with Danny and Evan on the first cut. Well, she was fire. Yeah, that was fun. That was a cool thing that we did. Uh, episode 27. Before you guys click away, <coughs> today's list is country. I know, I know, I know. Just, just bear with us. I think we lost them. Yeah, I know. Already. We just lost all of our subs. Because I just heard crickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> that might be um, the syphilis <laughs> that you're dying of. Oh. <coughs> to be fair... <coughs> You know, we're a little fast and loose with the way we play this whole game called life. And today's, I mean, today's picks are like, they're somewhat traditional, mostly alt country. Just, just, uh, just give them a chance. We're going to get on started with, uh, Boneheart Flanagan and their album Backpacks and Mason Jars. And their, uh, it's a great photograph. Too. Excuse me. I'm trying to start here. <laughs> their second track, Get in the Van, Let's Go. Um, now that we've started, what? Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. God, that sounds like 65 era fucking Dylan. Yeah, dude. So here's the thing. I kind of hate country music. And I mean, like, I like I like old country. I mean, who doesn't? But but the thing is, is that, um, man, I'm actually legitimately distracted by the music. Um, I don't really like modern country, and that's exactly what we're covering today is modern country artists. But to me, I really wanted to do this list to challenge myself and say, you know, I might not like this genre, but can I find things that I legitimately like and I'm legitimately proud to show people and say, check this shit out. This is where it's at. And I think we have three choices for you today that might play a little fast and loose with the country part, but they're fucking sick. And this is our first pick, Boneheart Flanagan, out of n -n -n New York, and I'm about it. Never heard of it. <clears throat> um, never heard of New York. Never heard of New York. Okay. Uh, I do like that album cover too, like you had mentioned. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool picture. I wonder if that's original art or what. But uh, yeah, um, country. That's a flagrant topic in certain circles. Uh, I mean. <laughs> country is very, very popular in in our neck of the woods, certainly. Yeah, and so up here we in, hear uh, it redneck Washington, all the time. Logging community. Yeah, everyone here thinks they're from the south. Um, yeah, that's pretty frustrating being from the yeah. south <laughs> myself. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I spent a good portion of my youngin days in the in the southern parts. You did. You sure did. <clears throat> so uh, you want to talk about that? Yeah, I lived in I Texas. I mean, when for a fucking good. better of a time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I grew up in uh, Texas, in a little town called Dill Valley. Yeah, dude. Outside of Austin, um, and I had a big dirt pile in the front of my. Uh, house and um yeah it's fun you know yeah dude. it's fun to play in the dirt when you're a kid yeah dude. and it's texas man and texas is uh, it's a cool place yeah and it's hot it's i'd like cool, to go someday hot. i've still never been to texas yeah i'm from florida if you guys didn't know that i'm from sanford Fa uh sanford valley i'm from orange county sanford uh, <laughs> that's in california i hate to tell you but orange county is there's several orange counties you bigot <laughs> Um, <laughs> you smelly bigot. Um, <laughs> no, Orange County, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Sanford, just north of Orlando, um, which is funny because Orlando is a big metro area. I don't think you would like immediately think, like, oh, yeah, just go just north of there and you got real fucking uh, redneck backwoods kind of place. But hey, man, that's where I'm from. A little south of uh, Daytona as well, which I think a lot of people do more associate with Redneck because it's very well known for its Daytona uh, Motor Speedway. Um, That's not much farther away. It's like it's like Seattle. It's like you take two steps out of Seattle and you're in bumfuck. Goddamn. Well, I mean, a little more so because that's, I mean, that's the thing is like you take two steps north of Seattle and you're in Edmonds. And it's like, yeah, Edmonds is not bumfuck. And then from there, there's Everett, which is not. But then, yeah. From, I guess particularly there, if you go east. Like, yeah, then you start thinking. I guess that's true. Get across. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking overtly, directly north. But yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, I was going to say, because that's the big thing is like, like, you could compare us. Like, yeah, we're just north of Seattle. Like, an hour and a half, <laughs> two counties away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. We're in the same tri-county area, I guess you could say. But, <laughs> <yeah>. Yes, <clears throat> but uh, country. Um, 
Uh, I do really like this. I like this a lot. I think this is great. Yeah, um, it's wonderful. I, I think like so. I mean, it's definitely very like a, um, you know playing uh, playing country uh, pretty traditionally, and that that's perfectly fine by me. I mean, I have nothing wrong with yeah <clears throat> with uh, someone someone wanting to <clears throat> sort of conjure the. Old this isn't ghosts. a fringe pick either, which I think, which I really like. It's just really good. Because yeah. I wouldn't say this and be like, yeah, this isn't really country though. It's like, no, this is very country. It's just, I like it better than Wilco. Better than I, what? Better than Wilco. I mean, oh yeah, I, I like Wilco all right, but I mean, um, yeah, um, Uncle Tupelo. I like it a lot better than like fucking Luke Bryant. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking uh, Tim McGraw. And, uh, that one guy who's named Toby Keith. Oh Jesus Christ! Yikes! Yeah. <clears throat> um, no. Yeah. There, there's a lot of um, <clears throat> the, the sort of uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Just that modern pop country and stuff. This is yeah, like, dude. So insufferable. It's crazy. Yeah. But um, this is nothing like that. This is like actually sounds like roots music, like yeah, Americana. Speaking of, uh, <clears throat> I know you don't watch your mom's house yet, which. I think you should change, but that's the point. I've watched your house before, like several times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the podcast, you fucking Degenerate? wily dipshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the podcast, your mom's house. They have a recurring bit where they shit on Garth Brooks. And Which they are justified in doing. <laughs> yeah. They, well, but here's know, the yeah. thing, right? Is they don't they don't say like, "Hey, man, fuck this guy. He's an asshole," or, uh, you know, he's probably a bigot or anything like that. But the thing is, is they'll watch like his so- social media videos, and they'll be like, "Doesn't he kind of look like a creep and a sociopath?" And I really need to show you some of that shit because it is fucking hilarious. Like some of his Instagram posts and shit, where he'll just be like. Hey, we're coming down to uh, we're coming down to Durham, and you know Durham. They say uh, Durham, it's the it's the city of dreams. I like that, and it's just like, ugh, dude. Like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? From the Arctic. <laughs> From the Arctic. <laughs> yeah. Look yep. at this. Well. Look, look at this sign. It's maybe like a stop sign in a city that you have. It says stop. <laughs> but it also says it in the Arctic. <laughs> That's not really a great Arnold impression, but it's a pretty good impression of that guy doing an Arnold impression. Yes. They're in the Arctic. Yes. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> Garth Brooks, dude. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know. This shit is big time. I'm going to be the fucking 2020 water champ. Just you wait. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, Boneheart Flanagan is a hairy animal from the Great Plains. Excuse me? Currently based oh. in Brooklyn. Oh, you're reading their description. Would you like me to expand the Let's description the for you? Expansion. Okay, just let me chub it up first. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that. There, yeah, so... At least a sophomore album, American Mayhem. What a great name for an album. Mm-hmm. In 2018, exploring such weighty topics as war, addiction, bullying, <laughs> and the complications of growing up adopted, all white, maintaining a distinct... All while maintaining a distinct... I'm sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. Maintaining a distinct gallows humor. He's preparing for a deluge of tour dates in 2019. Well, tell you what, uh, Mr. John Dell, uh, a.k.a. Boneheart Flanagan, um, you ever want to meet up, have some fucking uh, some whiskey or beer, uh, hit us up. Yeah, man. Keep it real. I might be in New York next year. We'll see. If we happen to be in the same area, I'll probably be up in Albany more than anywhere else, but you know, my legs work. <laughs> yeah. Flap my arms, you know. Why? Why would you flap your arms? <laughs> what is that supposed to? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man, I could just fucking sit here and drink to this all day. Yeah, I'd like to, like, you, I've heard to like drink some kind of like whiskey or something. I would go for like a probably a local brand. 
Yeah, I actually have to keep telling you, like, no, not, not yet, not yet. Don't blow your load. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe like a Seattle bit. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we you can you can edge it, Evan. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just keep thinking about something else. Think about llamas. <laughs> Think about how much starfish love you. Yeah, starfishes love you. Um, I love you so goddamn much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Just look at the colonel over there. Hey. Yeah. This is the song that really like. This is their like featured song. This is the one that really, really gave me a hard on for this album. That was about it. Yeah, what a great name. God damn. You ever think about why I make so many, like, phallic jokes? No. Oh, me either. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, let's just listen to this for a minute. Yeah. I'm into that. You know, I think that one thing... I'm just joking. <laughs> I fucking quit. I quit. Okay. Here's the one thing I'll say. If they start developing a Red Dead Redemption 3 and Boneheart Flanagan isn't on it or isn't slated to be on it, I will fucking fight tooth and nail with Rockstar developers to make that shit happen. Because, boy, I could have really used this going through the greater plains of New Austin. I fucking loved Red Dead 2. Red Dead 1 was pretty good too, but Red Dead 2 is fucking incredible. And it just really, really takes me back to like, like, man, like a bunch of my friends just died in this gang shootout, hanging my head, like trying to think of like, where, where am I even going to go? Is like just fucking miserable fucking old country shit. Like just fucking, oh, I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Locust Road Lament is what this one is called for all who are simply listening and not watching us on the YouTubes, mm. which we are very glad to be back on, I should add. We're working towards uh, getting a a steady schedule where we have a release on a specific day and a specific time every single week. So it'll be like, at, like let's just say, 5.30 every Wednesday or whatever. So let us know. Also, fucking smash that like button. Um, just pound on that fucking comment bar and let us know what times you'd like to see. What, what time you think would be most conducive uh, and we'd really like your feedback so we can not listen to it um, <laughs> no but we don't have a set day and time yet but we're still working on that uh, hopefully hopefully by episode 30 we'll be uploading every single week at a specified day and time what say you on that Evan? what say you on that Evan? Hmm? you've been talking? no I've been talking I'm not even here I'm a figment of your imagination <laughs> Oh man! I'm like your Tyler Durden. <laughs> You're just a really good impressionist. <laughs> um, I was really uh, impressed by the way you sang "Rocket Man." By the way, all by yourself, that was actually really remarkable. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm into that big time. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Cool. Sweet. Are you fucking chanting in Aramaic? What are you doing? <laughs> I just heard you whispering something. Yes. Oh, okay. I heard you whispering something. Yeah. <laughs> Not that important. Okay. Oh. What? Why? What? <laughs> oh my god, Evan! Your penis! <laughs> His penis is out, everybody! It's out again! It's come back for revenge! Cool. It's snaking its way around the room looking for something to chow down on. There's no small mice in this room. <laughs> Go back to hell from whence you came, you one eyed demon. <laughs> Cycloptic demon. <laughs> Sweet relief. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Sweet Oh, you know, this reminds me of... Okay, I, I've been thinking about this the whole fucking time we've been sitting here. No. And I'm trying to think of, like, who does this 
Uh, what band does this remind me of? No, it's not like that. It's not like that. It reminds me of um, Timber Timber. Um, oh, yeah, that sounds really familiar. They're a Canadian band that... Oh, yeah. That sounds quite, I mean, similar. I mean, they're definitely very unique in their own right. Right. But... Um, that's a band I would highly recommend people check out. I mean, they're a lot more popular, big, mainly due to because they're... Uh, what did you they, just say to me? They managed to get some of their music played in Breaking Bad, I think. Um, I've never been to a truck stop outside of town. No way. He said my name in the song. Hmm. She does not. <laughs> Sometimes she does. Uh, pull into the pilot or the flying J. It's all right. I think. Okay. Yeah, this is fucking swell. I'm about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Of course. Hmm. Sorry. I, yeah, it's, I, I've never listened to a song live on the podcast where somebody's like, you, host, you're doing this thing. This is your name I'm referencing. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of funny. And he's like, he did drugs. I'm like, I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might yeah. Like anyway, so I'm sorry. That takes a lot of like balls to talk about bowling too. And bowling is definitely a really. Can we talk about the the sweet sweet American town of Bowling Green? Oh. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, you go first. Bowling Green. Now you go. Sweet sweet yeah. <laughs> sweet sweet Bowling Green. Now you. <laughs> Um. Yeah, wasn't that like some kind of news story a while yeah, back or something? Fucking Kellyanne Conway was talking about like the massacre in Bowling Green that didn't happen at all. Oh yeah. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, like the terrorist attack in Bowling Green. It's like, oh, you mean like the guy who farted in a CVS pharmacy? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just it was nothing. She's like. ISIS was in this small American town. It's like, dude, you're just blatantly lying. <laughs> I don't know if it was an ISIS thing. I don't know if that's what it was about, but it was something to do with terrorism in like a small Midwestern town called Bowling Green. Yeah, that's right. It's not wrong. Um, yeah, it's in Kentucky. Uh, I think so. I'd like to go to Kentucky. Why? Because it just seems like super cool. They have bourbon. Yeah, they have bourbon. Yeah, they got that Jack Daniels. Yeah. Jack Dagnolius. I could, I could indulge myself. The Jack me. But I just, yeah, I have this um, sort of latent romanticism for like just parts of the country, my country, my country. I've never been to. And uh, that's just like kind of one of them. It's like, yeah, it'd be neat. What about New York? Well, yeah, of course. New York is crazy on Whatever. there. Yeah. Um, yeah, New York is cool. And it's weird because, I mean, I, I work with a guy from New York. And I've I, been to New York. Oh, yeah. And, but I, I talk to him and, and, he, and like, and I sometimes I find myself just like trying to just... Um, just asking him like question after question like what is this like what so, is this like so wait now let me let me posit this what are some states that you've never been to that you just don't give a fuck about what are states that I've never been to that I don't give a fuck about um yep you, that was verbatim what I said yeah <laughs> um um like Wyoming. I would like to go to Wyoming. Montana? Um, I've been to Montana. Idaho? Um, um, oh, Idaho? Um, I mean, it, it, I guess I've, I've driven through Idaho when I was a young boy, I guess. Uh, Utah. No, I was going to say, oh, yeah, no, I was in Pullman like many years ago, but that's technically, you know, that's like right across the right. Um, uh, What? You say Utah? I said Utah. Uh, I'm not interested in going there. Either. There we go. We got one. Because <laughs> yeah, the... <coughs> Why, Evan? Um, there are no Mormons listening, are there? <laughs> I really doubt it. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. 
<laughs> this is time to plug our um, our new sponsor, uh, Honeymoon uh, Coffee out of Oak Harbor, Washington. Boy, they sure do make good coffee. They actually really do. And I'm dead ass. Like, they make fucking great coffee. Or we could, you know what? What about Night Flyer Roasters for, out of uh, North Carolina by Paul Wagoner of Between the Buried and Me? That's two coffee sponsorships right there. Uh, and they sure don't like coffee, those Mormons. So go ahead. Yeah. People are just, careful. <laughs> um, they're different than I am. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, Utah doesn't really do anything for me. Um, but I, I put any chub in your chubby. Yeah, but I do like Paul Wagner's coffee. Oh he, hell yeah, he makes awesome coffee. Makes awesome coffee, and he actually made me a personalized bag once. You're welcome. Yeah. I, I bought it and I, I put in the notes like, hey, this, I'm buying this as a gift for my friend. He's a big fan of yours. I'm sure you'd appreciate hearing something. It's pretty Paul cool. Wagner is a gentleman and a scholar. And I say that totally sincerely, yeah, oh yeah, even though Paul it sounds Wagner's like amazing. I'm being a dipshit. Have you seen I, his haircut? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It he's looks really good. Yeah, he's Hella a good looking handsome. man. I could uh, talk about Paul Wagner for an hour. Yeah. Love totally buried me. Those Phenomenal awesome. uh, compositional musician as well as just all around musician and guitarist. Uh, he's a handsome boy. Uh, he's very fit. Um, he makes really fucking good coffee. He's really passionate about uh, vegan. Yep, that's cool. He was my one of my original inspirations for going vegan. That's cool. Not Dan. Uh, Don't say Dan's not cool. I will uh, <laughs> punch you in the mouth. You can- uh, Dan's, uh, all of them. Dan's strange, but he's pretty fucking cool. Have you listened to like Nightmare Scenario? No. Oh my god, that's where it's at. I'll show you some later. Let's see. Let's see Everybody one. from Between the Buried and Me, Blake Richardson, Dusty Waring. We had that time where we met with Dusty Waring at the guitar store in uh, uh, well, Seattle, but I can't think of what area in Seattle. And let's see. They're from for like an hour. They're from Raleigh, North Carolina. That's right, North North Carolina. So. So uh, maybe I wonder though about the Carolinas. I never really thought seriously about the Carolinas. I've been to North Carolina. I wonder if I would find those places interesting. It's okay. It's all right. The Carolinas. <coughs> Carolinas. You might like it. It's a lot of countryside. Yeah. I know you like that. Maybe. Um, hmm. Yeah. What other states? I think there are only like ten states, aren't there? A nine now. Nine states now. Oh, that's right. Pluto got taken over. <laughs> Uh, Massachusetts. I would love to go to Massachusetts. Yeah, I would too, actually. And not even fucking about Boston. Maine? I mean, I would just like look. Um, oh yeah, I, 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 that's one of my like most romanticized like places. I would just love to visit New because Hampshire? I think, yeah, New England just yeah, New in England totality. In yeah, cool, like yeah. love to see. Uh, Michigan. Um, I, I grew up in Minnesota, so yeah. Michigan, I guess, does, it, I already know basically what it's like, so it doesn't touch any buttons. For Alaska, me. you've never been there? Hey! I love Alaska. I was just thinking about Alaska earlier. I was looking at the snow in the mountains, and I'm like, oh, man, I miss Hawaii. Alaska. Uh, Hawaii. Uh, I don't, totally forgot that Hawaii was a thing. Huh? Yeah, it's a thing. Um, it's part of the country. Uh, Hawaii is one of those places I have no, like, personal... Um, interest in necessarily seeing it, but I feel like it's one of those places that if someone dragged me there someday, it's so funny. I would I would probably really love it's, it. It's truly but. fascinating and endearing to me that like, and I mean this very very earnestly. Like when you look at like the things of like, what do normal people want to like go to and see on vacation? Be like, um, like big wondrous things that everyone knows about white sand beaches like a good place to relax somewhere it's warm this that whatever you fuck all of that you find like solace in like the mundane yeah i'd be like yeah but like i really want to know like what the like grassy fields of the state i've never been to smell like yeah that's very fascinating about you and i, I do mean that sincerely yeah i mean when i um I, yeah, I'm I mean, like, yeah. I'm like, you want to go to, uh, you want to go to Montana or Hawaii? You'd be like, oh goodness, Montana. What? There's nothing in Montana. No, I yeah. don't care. There's not much in Montana. I mean, I, I don't Very know. There's bears. Yeah. What about the Dakotas? Um, I've seen a, uh, I've seen. I was going to say Stonehenge. What the fuck? I've no, seen same a, thing. not Rushmore. Um, yeah, same uh, thing. When I was a little boy. 
And I thought that was it was pretty neat. It was it, I think what's really neat about that is like how fucking far away it actually really is. You don't yeah, you true. see the pictures of it where it's like right there, yeah. but you have well, to look at it with huge. binoculars like from like ten miles away. Um, I don't care, um, shit, dude. Don't so ignore it. <laughs> so uh, so anyhow, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, the Dakotas. I, I think. There's probably some potential for those being like I, I've driven through North Dakota, Washington of course, DC. like I just said. Um, uh, Washington DC, Smithsonian, mm, Holocaust yeah. Museum. I mean, I'm interested in that definitely. The Holocaust Museum, but it's. I didn't say anything about that. Yeah. Reflection pool. Fucking. I've been uh, to Dachau though, so I, I feel like I've seen. Oh, like, that's true. That's true. You paid your dues. In that I sense. paid my due diligence. I no, the I Holocaust mean, Museum and the Smithsonian. Hey, no, I, I, I'll definitely go see some more Holocaust. 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 Fuck. God damn it. Wow. I'm trying to be respectful to the Jesus fucking Christ. deceased over here. And Evan, I, you just fucking committed. Blunder. You're t- absolutely going to hell. You just fucking signed your fucking. Oh God, I just stomped on millions of dead souls. God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, I would love to see the Holocaust <laughs> Museum. Um, and, and I, it, yeah, going to Dachau, I know, though, I mean, it's very humbling. Can we, um, hang on, real real quick, real quick, can, can we make it a point to say, hey, I respect Jewish people and the shit that happened. Uh, that was completely unintentional, and I did not mean to make fun of an extraordinarily terrible event that everyone should feel bad about. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm saying that you heard it here first, which makes yeah. me better than Evan because I said it first. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yes, that Whew, shit is terrible. Jesus Christ! Shit is terrible. Yeah. And um, yeah. So anyhow. Before uh, we create any more unintentional hate crimes, <laughs> maybe it's time to move on. Yes. I think so. Thanks, Boneheart Flanagan. Thanks, guys. You're See beautiful. you around. Yeah. And we're back, people. Uh, we've got uh, the Chad LeBarons with their album uh, Alliston and the song Think of You. I don't know if that joke will just totally fucking not land the Chad LeBaron thing, but... The band is called La Barons, not Chad LeBaron, like Churdley's. Um, <laughs> Evan likes Churdley's. I like Churdley's. I, I like the. Chirdley's. I like the. Um, the Trevor guy. Trevor Wallace. Yeah. Who's not Churdley's? Who's not Churdley's? Yeah, I like him. He's he is funny. really funny though. To be fair. <coughs> dude, you made me spit out my white claw, dude. <laughs> yeah, I like the one with the bangs. I like the one. With the oh yeah. Claws. Shit is I might buy some claws tonight, actually. Who knows? Do it, dude. Do it, I still got more of that dark darkness. That was good. That was good. I have one stuff. right now if you want. Crack me in one of those pieces. Don't tell me what to do. Also, I guess don't forget, so. Don't forget all this shit. Would you speak into the fucking microphone while I'm doing this thing? Oh, yeah. Try and keep people entertained. <laughs> Okay. Jesus. Le Baron. Le Baron. Uh, because they're from Toronto, Ontario. Oh, yeah, right. Canada. Um, uh, I'm just fucking close to being done with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. That's a cool, uh, cool picture. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a great album cover. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, obviously, country influence is... Um, is kind of in the same uh, Jesus you did it in the microphone <laughs> this one's same. a little more fringe yeah still good though it's very alt cut tree oh Whoa. my god oh my god fuck we are <laughs> controversy country. makers yeah, Jesus point. Christ we, it is inescapable so now we've oh angered uh, the Jewish um, <laughs> populace and women <laughs> as a whole. Oh my god. Oh boy. This, we, <laughs> this episode is gonna kill. This is, this is our final episode. Alternative country. <laughs> shortened to alt country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Alt cunch also would have worked. <laughs> yeah, well. Alt cunch. Oh my god, dude. Well, at least now we're one for one. It's <laughs> not one sided. God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean... I mean, and I'm not... I'm okay with that word in general, but, like... It has a time and place. That wasn't it. 
Oh God! But yes, um, uh, very. Uh, this music is very faithful to a core um, Americana folky sound. Um, and uh, of course, I'm all right in saying Americana because it's not just like yeah. the United States. I mean, they're in the goddamn Americans. Um, it's true. Yeah, they're in North America. And also, Americana is just a sound. It's, it's you could be from fucking you yeah. from Iraq and make Americana. I mean, you could, yes, yeah, certainly. Iraq. I'm sorry. And shit. Now I, <laughs> I think some people find that like not oh, okay, not nice to say it. Iraq. It sounds very white and ignorant. We're Iraq. going to Iraq. I can't even do the fucking voice. I'm so tired. Um, you guys know what I was going for. I just flopped. Uh, yeah, if this band um, was in town, they're not. If they were, but they're not. <laughs> shit. Um, well, <laughs> maybe there's some fantasy universe somewhere where they are. Okay. Um, Probably not. Uh, if I was in Ontario, Canada, Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> If I was in Toronto, Canada, Ontario, right. I I would definitely consider seeing this band. Yeah, if for they're sure. They're playing at a local little uh, playing a little gig. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, get a drink. Mm-hmm. When you know, you can do that when you're like 19 over there. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Are you trying to imply that you're 19 mm-hmm. or that they are? I'm 19. Where's my skateboard, dude? <laughs> hey, mom, any gogurt in the fridge? <laughs> I'm gonna go shred some gnar. I'm pissed off at my mom because she made me some Totino's pizza rolls and they burnt my mouth. Oh boy! Can we talk about Totino's? Totino's. I love Totino's. I like. I really love Totino's. I'm really glad that we started talking about this because I love Totino's. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't even want to joke about that. <laughs> Totino's is all right, but like, I mean, Totino's, Totino's, how did you know? Yeah. Totino's, Totino's, everybody's talking about. Oh shit! I just realized. What? <laughs> well. What? Hold on. <laughs> and I was thinking of the other day was um. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I was thinking of Timica, Tim, 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 Timicadere. Timicadere. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, we're just like trading fucking <laughs> blunders back and forth. We're just like unlearning oh the English god. language. I was thinking about my good friend Timicadere. By, by the end of the episode, we're both gonna be like. I was thinking about my good friend Timicadere. And his and his <laughs> trademark staple collection. <laughs> oh, man. I was thinking of uh, Grum. Oh my god! Remember Grum? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Played by Tom Kenny. <laughs> yes. Mm, I like crackers and snacks. I can't do the voice. I Hi, wish I could. Grum. Yeah. Holy crap! Classic. Grum reminded me so much of uh, the Rat Boy Genius that it's not even funny. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. they're not like the same character designer. Yeah, this is bold. Just, yeah, I forgot yeah, how bold this is. It's got some, it's got some punch. But uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was thinking of Grum. Oh boy, I I'm so in love with this podcast at this point. I can marry it. I think I might. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh, this is why we don't need drops in our podcast. We're our own accidental drops. Drops. Yeah. Like drops? Like drops. <clears throat> you know, like drops? when you have like a segment of something else and you're like, I'm gonna in plug that in right now. Oh. <clears throat> like this shit is big time. Who is Randy? Who Yo is mama Randy? in the fucking stands. Yo mama in the stands? Yo mama in the fucking stands. You still haven't watched your mom's house, huh? Oh, I haven't watched your mom's house. Jesus, Evan, it's been a week. But I've watched me mom's house. You Jesus. made that same I already joke made last a week. stupid yeah. fucking joke. Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> I've watched I'm in me mum's car. Broom broom. I am not fucking drunk. Oh yeah. Can you tell the time? Yes. I am not fucking drunk, he says, <laughs> looking at a clock. <laughs> uh, Directed uh, towards more rather. <laughs> Alright, enough of the memes. 
you got them gurgles going on. Um, is there any other demographic of people you'd like to make fun of publicly? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was actually gonna like. What were, the fuck were... have you eaten? What? The burp is What's disgusting. This? Is the drink? No, the fuck, it's not. Is the drink? It smells like you ate a fucking bucket full of possum assholes. <laughs> Uh, Jesus God! <laughs> it's a delicacy. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Did you eat a fucking small bowl of snail nightmares? <laughs> Why the fuck does your burp stink so much? <laughs> it's not the beer. Don't blame the beer. There's something uh, else in there that is not right. And I know you're vegetarian, so it's fucking something really freaky. Um. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> A fucking small shoebox full of stork ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it might have been the cheese. Mm, that's fair. My stomach is full that of cheese. That could be the only... Yeah, I guess if it's only cheese, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just oh. carrot cake Oreos. Anyways, yeah, I wanted to offend more people, though, so, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> by all means. This is great marketing, by the way. <laughs> I think uh, the, those Adam Ivey videos you watched, he said, if you can use the N-word. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. I'm not even going to fucking... Yeah. Um, I'm not entertaining that idea. It was obviously but, a joke. But um, you, you did say something earlier that I wanted to oh, yeah? take a, a slightly stupid, funny, racist riff off of. But I was like, no, I'm not going to fucking touch that. I'm um, really glad you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> when you define it as racist. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> but it was funny. Just know that it was funny. Okay. But also, it probably wasn't very really funny. Would you stop fucking with my shit, especially my hydro flask? <laughs> From New York? From New York. Yeah. Um, smash that like button if you hate Donald Trump. I know I do. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I don't even think that's a political statement anymore. Nope. Just as much as me being like, man, he's a fucking idiot. I'm mm -hmm. sick of hearing from him. To be fair, I was sick of hearing from him when Obama was president. But yeah. <coughs> now it's not really politically charged as much anymore. Just because, like, everyone hates him. Yeah. No, they don't. Everybody loves me. We're still building that fucking wall. I don't care what the press says. The fake news. It's okay, right? Wasn't there like a news story slipping. recently where like uh, where um, some like migrants actually just like vaulted over or, or broke through a certain section of the wall like already, just going to show that like probably like his multi-billion dollar wall is like th is foiled with like like twenty dollar hardware you know yeah probably. tools. <coughs> yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah, but that's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, fuck Donald Trump. Um, if this video gets up to 5,000 likes ever, I'm going to tattoo Evan live on the podcast. <laughs> you heard it here first. Evan, do you agree? I, I agree that you want to be, do it can, that, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, can be, it can be anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be a visible place. Hmm. Well, I'm actually covered head to toe in tattoos, so the only place it's not covered is the inner flaps of my bottom area. Okay, so, cool. I'll put the little Snapchat ghost coming out of your anus. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like woo the way he like zooms away with the fucking rainbow just coming out of your <laughs> coming out of your fucking uh uh your stinkle. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be coming cool. out of Brown Town. That'd be pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm that guy. If anyone didn't know, I'm that guy from like uh, that Lady Gaga video, um, who looks like a skeleton. He died though, so actually, I'm not him. Evan's gonna die. That's what he's saying. Uh, Evan, can we get can we get an agreement on that? The live tattoo. You know, I've got um, the stuff. I agree that you want to do it. No, 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 no. That's not the same thing. <laughs> It could be something real small on like the inside of your thigh or something where no one will see it. And what's the so the, uh, there's it could no be whatever condition. Whatever you want. Okay. It's probably not going to come out well, but it could be whatever you want. I want five. Okay. This It'll is, be a real tattoo gun. This I'm is going to be a hard milestone to hit, but okay. It's, it's don't you dare say five million. 
Five hundred billion. Fifty thousand. Five hundred billion likes. Okay, fine. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. We have that. We have that. You've agreed, and I will tattoo you live on the podcast. Yeah. Fifty thousand. Fine. And it doesn't have to be like, oh man, if you have before, but you know, between this one and the next one, it's just in general, lifetime likes. Yeah. Okay, fifty thousand. You heard it here first. I'm gonna tattoo the Snapchat ghost coming out of Evan's asshole. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that yeah. would be really funny though. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, on the real, we'll come up. I'll let you decide what it is. It could be something totally like. It could just be like a little like uh, Nirvana smiley face or something. Yeah. On the uh, fucking underside of your left eye. I like Nirvana. Yeah, you do. Mm hmm. Oh, boy. We have a lot of fun here. <clears throat> yeah. This chair's not that much fun anymore. It's better than the fucking medicine ball, isn't it? It's better seen, than the medicine ball. I haven't ball. seen you provide a chair or anything else for this show. I think from now on, I think we should start doing uh, the podcasting in my car. Okay, I'll tell you what. If this podcast gets <laughs> yeah. Just keep bargaining 19 with quadrillion <laughs> likes, I will record it in your car from now on. Fuck it. I'll record it in the goddamn Tundra in your car from now on. Yeah. <laughs> Without you. Without you. No, anyways, obviously that's not happening. Um that tattoo shit, that's going to happen someday. You know, I do think about, like, the podcast. Cool. Would you like to expand on that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think about this thing that we're doing when we're doing it. <laughs> well, no, I, I think about, like, extracurriculars that I think would be fun for myself. Because I, as the most humble podcast host... The Raw Cut Man. The Raw know. Cut Man. <laughs> the Raw Cut Man. Um... I, I like, you know... I'm your number one host. I'm still quite insecure um, in my abilities as an entertainer and provider of... I think you've gotten really good, to be completely honest. Um, stuff. Mm-hmm. See, I, I have to think of words like stuff, which are terrible. Sure. But um, I think part of me wants to dip my toes in the water of, like, um, turning... Do my own, like, little... Uh, on the side joint where I just kind of talk about music but in a more um, maybe in a more formal way and just like short form you know something simple so I can maybe build up my confidence as far as um, uh, my broadcasting skills go and my presenting voice Um, because I mean those uh, you can take an acting class at the mm -hmm. community college maybe Those uh yeah those early podcasts though I think like uh, you know I got a lot of bad habits I've been trying to work through them and I think I'm doing a good job. You know, boring's not a bad habit, right? Boring, <laughs> boring. It's a personality trait. It's a, a bad habit. It's a malignancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, I think you're doing great, Evan. And I'm gonna tell you what. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you please fucking stop putting drinks just on top of my shit? <laughs> I left a shit there for a reason. It was not for you to put drinks on top of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Those cute fishes, though. Yeah, I hate it. Um, Evan, you about ready to move on? I think I'm all right with that idea. I agree with that. 50,000 likes and we'll move on. Back in a sec. All right, people, what a journey we've been on tonight so far. We are here with our last pick. Last pick. Oh, Death and their album, Outside, starting with the song Bugs. Would you please stop? (laughs) So now this to me is a little more like, um, like folk Americana than country. I know but don't come it's back. really good. There's me. certainly some semblance of country, and, then my eyes and I really uh, like this. I, I also yeah. really enjoy the aesthetic. Yeah, it's almost like like from the start. It's almost like um, 
like a more country twinged bony bear. Um, Reminds me a little of uh, like Simon and Garfunkel too. Yeah, a little bit. Very dark. Um, dark. Uh, you know, when I hear this, I think dark. <laughs> But it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Let's just listen to music for a minute. Loaded out my heart and crowned with eggs and seeds. Through the fallen houses, rims with light and heat. What about my path would all I can go for some potato skins. Gardens. That sounds really good. I'm hungry. Why do we never eat? Oh, that's right. Because we burp when we eat. Mm-hmm. That's why I never eat. You got giant eagle whole wheat crackers. Did you stop going through all of it? Why do you do this? What? Now I'm just going to fuck with all of the shit that you own while we're recording. <laughs> oh. I got some fucking Nag Champa incense, too. You want to stick some up your nose or maybe in your ear? No. Okay. This is another band out of New York, uh, New York, New York, uh, in this case. Um, I don't know why they decided they needed to name their state twice, but whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, now I'm about this. This is fun. Evan. Evan. Yes. You have anything you want to say? Kinda. Oh, <clears throat> do it. Hmm. Being kind of a, a silent Susan Sarandon. Over Fifty there. million likes. Jesus. All up in my mouth. The Fifty million likes. I'll never be quiet again. I'll scream in my sleep. <coughs> um. Five likes, and I will stab my partner to death. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna fucking kill anyone. Jesus. <laughs> At least of my partner. <laughs> Might kill Evan. Oh my god. But not my partner. That's serious. You've offended me. Mm-hmm. You can offend all kinds of minority groups. <laughs> Once you offend me, <coughs> it's over. Yeah. Oh, death. Uh, um, nice, nice sound. I think it's a, a great pick. Great pick. Thank you. Um, uh, very modest support deserves more support yeah for sure um, well that's i mean you could say that about all of the picks today yeah, really yeah. so you know go look them up go download their albums or you know god forbid fucking buy a lot of them had vinyls man buy vinyls mm-hmm. something cool if you got a if you got a turntable this vinyl this vinyl 13 dollars mm-hmm. that's a steal I'm just saying buy it What were you saying now again there, Opie? I was just merely commenting on the modesty of the support. Oh, yeah. And um, and I think this is super high quality, like really good. Um, a, a dark Americana. Yeah, it's um, great. Especially like with the uh, album cover. Yeah, we really like it. It's really a horse trotting off into the the night. I mean, I get that this is probably like. Um, you see the little barn out there. Yeah, I guess so. Cool. It's almost like a silhouette. Yeah, I guess this is like um, what some like um, uh, some horse business at night with a big um, like uh, what you call it those big lights like a, a floodlight or something. Okay. Um, what is horse business? What? What is horse business? Hey, horses put on like a three-piece suit. Like, <laughs> what would a horse do for a job, Evan? I'm actually really confused. I'd like to know. Um, they're not grazing. They just um, do that for nourishment. I think, I think Amazon hires horses. Yeah, I think you might be right. What do they do at Amazon though? They don't have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd really like to know. I think the fans want to know. Well. I ordered some shit like a couple okay. weeks ago, and this horse just like clomps up to my fucking doorstep. Yeah, yeah. And just, just drops racist, this fucking. But okay. <laughs> clomp, clomp is an offensive term to horse kind, but all right. <laughs> Those fucking clomps, but <laughs> yeah, we've managed to piss off every group of human beings that exist, and, and now horse. animals. Yeah, yeah, and now horse. Fuck. 
Okay, so We're one, of them, one of them uh, trots, trots up to your uh, doorstep loudly, presumably, by yeah. that terminology. And is he wearing a vest, a sweater, maybe a polo that says Amazon on it? Yeah, he's wearing one of those like cute little uh, Amazon uh, polo okay, shirts. Okay. He had the first couple buttons mm -hmm. like undone on his shirt. Oh, nice. And I like where this is going. And. I think it was kind of inappropriate. I feel like it'd been more professional if he would have like had it but like just the first button okay, unbuttoned. Okay. It was a he. It yeah. Was an important distinction. Yeah. That you're presuming this horse's pronoun. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and um, you know, I hey, I respect Amazon for their willingness to hire. Um, horses, because horses are good people. Well, that's very progressive of you, despite everything else you've said. Yeah. <laughs> horses are people. It's a good way to look at it, actually. Yeah, they're good people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do hear that Google has been hiring a lot of um, of uh, chickens <laughs> and small pheasants. What do you think of that? They look really funny wearing their little chicken pants. <laughs> Like they got little sweatpants. It's pretty cute though, actually. Yes. Yes, I heard that. I did hear that. Have you ever seen a chicken wearing a brassiere? Oh, fuck. They wear them to, uh. <coughs> I need they need to hide them. my shame. They wear them to support their chicken breasts. <laughs> Titties? They're, yeah, they're chicken tits. <laughs> them big fucking purple mushers. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, dude, this is like... Yeah, it's fucking fat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, this is a lot of fun. I gotta tell you. People, let me be honest with you for a minute. I have... At least two hepatitises. <laughs> but I'm not sure which ones. I need to see a doctor. That's not true. What is true, though, is that I really enjoy doing this podcast, um, even if the person I'm doing it with is a massive soggy sod. Um, it's a fun thing that we do. He's eating a fucking Oreo in the microphone while I'm trying to be real. This is the piece of shit that I work with. This is the man who has sired my babies. Um, <clears throat> people... <laughs> you like that one? Uh, I really love doing this. I really love bringing these, these pics to you. I hope you appreciate it. Because I know I appreciate you. I appreciate these artists. But I really appreciate the fans. The listeners. Even the people who, uh, you know, maybe don't like it so much who go out of their way to um, to slap soccer balls out of my hand and say, that's not how you play soccer, jackass. You're on a <laughs> basketball court. <laughs> all of my fans, really. Um, <laughs> I appreciate them all so much. Um, and I just thought I would take a second to let you all know um, how much you mean to me and how much all of this means to me. In this in this uh, this holiday season that we're in the midst of coming around to uh, old Christmas time, and we've got Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and Ram Ramadan. Is Ramadan no. this time of year? I didn't think so. Um, and Festivus, and um, I'm having a circumcision coming up. <laughs> All of these holidays really, they just they really get a guy feeling a certain way, you know. And um, I got a decapitation just, coming up. Yeah, I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you guys know how much you all mean to me. And uh, and I love you, you know? And I don't say it often enough, but, you know, it's... God damn it, it's the truth. And Evan's got a decapitation coming up. Let's get 5,000 likes for this being real shit. Come on. We had long yeah, do it. You're fucking real. No, I'm being real. You're eating Oreos <laughs> in fucking sweatpants. 
super comfortable. Though. I dressed up for this shit. I'm in a fucking three piece suit, pinstripe suit. <laughs> yeah. I look like a fucking uh, Joe Pesci character. <laughs> you know what's funny is I just yeah. fucking watched Home Alone earlier. Um, yeah. So. I thought you were going to say a good Joe Pesci movie. <laughs> it's like, ca- like good. Casino. Have you seen the previews for The Irishman? No. The Irishman? I think it's like uh, it's going to be on Netflix. Actually, well, it is on Netflix, actually. It looks really fucking good. I'll show you later. It's got Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. I think it's a Scorsese movie. Oh, wait. Yeah. A bunch of, yeah, really fucking good names in it. it looks awesome. I'm excited. Joe Pesci's got to be at least 30 years old now. Uh, yeah, but people his high age a lot slower. <laughs> he might only be 26. <laughs> Joe Pesci's fine. I don't care what anybody says. Joe Pesci's fucking great. Wonderful. Yeah. I love Casino, too. Casino's one of my favorite movies. You've seen Casino, right? Uh, that's Home Alone 2, isn't it? It's Home Alone 3. Home Alone 3, yeah. That's Home right, Home the one 3, that didn't yeah. have Macaulay Culkin in it. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin, this sink. His fucking familiar. Yes. No, I love Home Alone. Um, I leave my kids home alone on purpose. No, he lives outside too. He's like, I'm hoping to get picked up by wolves <laughs> so the wolves can pick up where I've left off. Oh, come. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you didn't answer my question. Have you seen Casino or haven't you seen Casino? Um, yeah, it's not okay. um, What is? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> um, but I know what you mean. Uh, I've never seen Casino. So if we're gonna get back on this tip of like movies, yeah, that... the one from last week. Yeah. No, I mean I don't really want to. I just wanted to know if you saw one of the best movies ever made. Um, mm-hmm. It's really good. Scorsese. I'm a big Scorsese fan. Taxi Driver. Well, I've You've seen, seen I've Driver. seen Hoodwink, so I've already seen the best yeah, movie ever made. So. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, for sure. <clears throat> think... I've never seen Norbit, and I hear that's the best movie ever made. Uh, I mean. It's got Eddie Murphy in it, so how could it not? You saw The Haunted Mansion. You saw Shrek 2. He wasn't in Shrek 1. I don't know if you knew that. They credited him, but that was just a guy who sounded exactly like him. I love Shrek. Um, Shrek is love. Shrek is, yeah. You forgot uh, the second line of Shrek, Shrek is love, Shrek, yeah, Shrek is, is life. Shrek is life, yeah. Shrek is wife. Shrek is... Shrek my wife. I... Okay, no. Check yourself. Before, <laughs> check yourself before you Shrek yourself. I, Are you gonna um, tell me what you're gonna say later? Because I really yeah. want to know. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> um Shrek was cool. I like Shrek, the first two of them. <clears throat> what a way to start a song. God damn. tired really tired you thinking about wrapping up Evan I think um, maybe that'd be a novel idea it's as hell out in space holy crap yeah. subtle references all night all damn night subtle references all damn night alright people you know I gotta say We've had a lot of goofs. We've had a lot of gaffes tonight. But really, if there's one thing we should all be thankful for, it's how ridiculous Mitch McConnell looks. That guy is a saggy turtle. It's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, <laughs> took you a minute. I've never uh, seen this person, though. But Mitch that's McCon- a funny description. What? How have you never seen Mitch McConnell? Okay, I'm supposed not getting, to have seen we're not getting into that. We're not getting into it. Is that someone from the news or something? Don't smoke meth. Don't drink and drive. Um, <laughs> um, if you have any expired cans of tomatoes, give them to me so I can eat them. Um, that's, man, that's about all I got. Tell me what you got. Um, if you have any old bread... You can uh, you can email it to me. <laughs> I'll take all your spam. Uh, good night, everybody. Sleep tight. Don't let Evan bite your toes. 
Oh, man. You better cover your toes. Cover your toes. Don't want the devil. Okay. Man. Bye. Good night.